Hello guys, I hope you are all doing great and welcome back again to our channel. Today, we have the opportunity to discuss a critical topic in QuickBooks and that is how to close a period. Closing a period is crucial for maintaining the accuracy of your financial records and ensuring that you're prepared for reporting during tax season and audits. But before we get into it, please make sure that you are subscribed and have that notification bell turned on so you never miss on any of our exciting updates. Now, the question is, before we get into the how, let's talk about the why. Why closing a period in QuickBooks is essential. And I will tell you, number one, prevent accidental changes to closed transactions. Number two, it ensures accurate financial statements. Thirdly, prepare for tax reporting and audits. And last but not the least, maintain the integrity of your financial records. Now, closing a period ensures the accuracy of your financial record that's given by preventing any further changes through transaction in that period. This is essential for producing reliable financial reports because, you know, Maintaining historical accuracy of your records, you are adhering to accounting and auditing standards. Ensuring that your financial records are in compliance with regulatory requirements and standards and such as auditors can easily review and verify financial statements without concern for changes to past transactions during the audit period. It's It somehow gives a sense of professionalism, honesty, integrity, right? And of course, QuickBook maintains a clear audit trail showing when and by whom a period was closed and any reopening take, take actions taken. This ensures accountability and transparency. And the discipline of closing periods encourages regular financial review and accountability contributing to a better financial management practice. Now, if you are using the same version that I do, you hover to uh, a gear icon in the upper right hand corner, which is this one. Click that and go to uh, account and settings. When you're in account settings, you go to advance and then there you go. As you can see, there, there's the first month of financial year, first month of tax year, accounting method, and close the books. We go to the pencil icon. It will show you some options for you to choose from. You know, uh, close the books, accounting method, and whatnot. You can set the date here where you want it to start. And you have options here for accrual or a cash. And... Most importantly, if you click this one, you are asked to give the date. It's it's a required. And you have also have some few options here. Allow changes after viewing a warning or allow changes after viewing a warning and entering password. So you have to be very mindful. Uh, doing this, you have to communicate with your accountant or financial advisor in doing so. And once you are you finalized and make up your mind once you save that and that's it that should be it thank you again so much for watching this tutorial on quickbooks online once again if you find it very helpful please give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel for more useful tutorials and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss an update if you have any questions please i am more than glad to provide any assistance Feel free to leave a comment below because I read all of them. Until next time, take care and happy bookkeeping!